Hello relatives, welcome to this week's Schlagbite for the week July 7th, 2008, entitled Three Singing Loons. With the economy weakening, gas prices soaring, home values sinking, the earth warming, rivers rising, levees bursting, I've been feeling a bit down and a bit powerless when I get this way. I think about my mother's admonition for staying healthy, which was, when in doubt, party. So I regularly do community work and consultation in Red Wing, Minnesota, and a couple of weeks ago I took some extra time to go fishing. In the middle of an isolated lake, paddling a canoe, I came upon a family of loons. These are gorgeous black-and-white water birds with penetrating red eyes and a long, low-pitched plaintive call that sounds like a wailing prayer. It's what I imagine Aretha Franklin would sound like singing a Gregorian chant. The loons were a mated pair, and swimming between them was a dark, gray, fluffy chick. So I looked at that chick, and I watched it sometimes take a break from paddling. It climbed on its mother's back to rest, and sometimes both the adults disappeared, and the chick would paddle around unconcerned. The parents, they always resurfaced, and soon they'd start that prayerful wailing. And I was moved to wail with them in the majestic splendor of a Northwoods lake, Three loons were wailing, and somehow all my despairing preoccupations seemed to float away with the sounds and the scene. When I returned, my wife and I went to a Crosby, Stills, and Nash concert. Crosby, Stills, and Nash have been singing their incomparable harmonies together for 40 years. They are the world's longest-running supergroup. Talk about an exercise in nostalgia. We were surrounded by thousands of aging hippies singing together down memory lane. Standing together, we sang about the madness of war, the wonders in my house of love, and how to teach our children well. In the midst of all that is coming down around us, that night in the Dodge Theater, you could feel the love. Now, partying may not change the external events, but it will help you take back control of the only power that we really have. Choosing to party, surrounded by whom and what you love. I'm remembering my mother this way, and it makes me smile because this is the fourth anniversary of her death. And I feel you, Ma. In concert halls and in wooded lakes, singing with the loons, I remember you. Have a great, great week. Remember, when in doubt, party. And for those of you who've sent me little notes suggesting that I was too close to the camera and you need to sit farther away, I'm hoping that uh, this will be an improvement. And for those of you who are interested in uh, an experiential workshop entitled From Torah to Tipi, which will address Jewish and Native American shamanic ritual and healing, take a look at the website at healingdoc.com. Have a great week. Enjoy. Remember, we're all connected. I say this for all my relations. Mitakuyasi.